Yeah, I don't know how many people actually care about this story, but I have to I have to do a segment on it. Nate Silver out at ABC News as Disney layoffs once again hit news division. It's the collapse of the corporate press. Nate Silver is not the worst guy, but watching ABC News get smacked around with these layoffs, I got to say, I'm having a good time this week. News has been absolutely amazing. The second round of, this is from a Hollywood reporter, the second round of Disney layoffs once again hit ABC News on Tuesday with Nate Silver's data-driven politics and journalism brand 538 among those being impacted. Silver told 538 employees in a Slack message that he expects to leave Disney when his contract is up, which he added would be soon, the Hollywood reporter has learned. Let me tell you all about it. Nate Silver runs this uh, data-driven blog, and they have all these polls, and the polls, for some reason, just tend to skew Democrat. It's a game. It's a dirty game. It's a manipulation game. I think what the pollsters do is they want to create a perception of popularity, and I think most of you agree. The goal is to convince regular people that in order to be on the side of the winner, you got to be a Democrat, because all the polls show that Joe Biden's winning, Donald Trump can't win. And then, of course, the polls tend to be wrong every single time. It's funny, for the, the last election, the polls were actually wrong about the Republicans, and the past three were wrong about Democrats. To put it mildly, I don't trust them. I don't think they actually care to give you accurate information. I think there's a handful of pollsters who do, but this ain't one of them. So as much as I don't, I don't, I don't hate Nate Silver, I mean, I'm fairly neutral on the guy. He's he's got he's had some good posts. He's made some good comments in the past. I take a look at this and uh, it's just good to see the corporate press imploding. Now, most of you know my history. I worked for an ABC News Univision company called Fusion and it went imploded. Get woke, go broke. Oh, boy. And could I ever say so? They laid off the entire staff. Eventually, the site just exploded and everybody was gone. They didn't listen. And I got to wonder, what was, their, what was their goal with everything they were doing? I told them outright, if you do this, you will fail. And the proper direction is the direction that I'm going. I said, regular people just want regular news and information. They don't want to have this weird progressive garbage smack them, smacking them in the face. They get offended by it. They don't want to watch it. I wasn't telling them to be conservative. I said, just do the news. They didn't want to do it. ABC News is expected to keep 538 brand name with plans to streamline the site and make it more efficient. ABC News remains dedicated to the data journalism, with a core focus on politics, the economy, and enterprise reporting. The streamlined structure will allow us to be more closely aligned with our priorities for the 2024 election and beyond, an ABC News spokesperson said in a statement. We are grateful for the invaluable contributions of the team members who will be departing the organization and know they will continue to make an important impact on the future of journalism. In his Slack message, Silver wrote that, unfortunately, the day we've been worried about has arrived. We don't yet know the scope of these layoffs, exactly who is impacted or the terms under which they are departing. But it is going to be a hard day for all of us, he added. S Silver founded 538 in 2008, eventually bring it to the New York Times. Silver would go on to sell, to the, uh, to sell the site to Disney's ESPN. It later was moved to ABC News. His departure will be the first time that Silver has not been involved in the site since it launched 15 years ago. Talk about brutal. You know, in this day and age, I have to wonder about why anybody would sell their company, right? And, and you know that I've mentioned this several times. There are companies that absolutely want to absorb Timcast, but why would I do it? Why? I'll be honest with you guys. I'll tell you exactly what's up, why and how and whatever else. Timcast Media, what's the valuation of this company? It's really high. It is. And I was talking to Charlie Kirk about this, and based on the revenue that we bring in, and I've mentioned it before, but I don't, I don't, I'm not going to scream it out this time. I've, I've said it before. But the, and the memberships that we've have, we have, it's actually a fairly, uh, fairly valuable company. I guess the big challenge is it all hinges upon the content I produce and Timcast IRL, of course, with the staff and everything. But those are that's the strongest IP held by, by the company. So when I get these big conservative brands and when I get corporate institutions or whatever, when I get new upstarts or startups, sorry, upstarts, startups coming to me and saying that they want to license or purchase, you know what I say to them? You know what I say? I look them in the eye and I say, how much? How much? 
because I recognize the the power in the work that I do as an individual. And seeing Tucker Carlson ousted from Fox, I know full well him leaving doesn't mean all that much. Nate Silver, on the other hand, I'm not so sure. So the question for all of these companies that say they want to have the show hosted there, it's like, okay, can you do the show without me? The answer is they can't. So there is value if these companies are willing to pay top dollar to buy us out. I put that money in the bank. We do the show like we always do. And then if the contract expires or we, it goes sour, I have the money to launch something bigger and better. The problem is these companies, they don't want to actually pay. They're hoping. And this is what really frustrates me about the independent ecosystem and the corporate press, because they all do the same thing. They hope you are too stupid to know your own worth. Now, as for Nate Silver, I got to be honest, I'm not so confident he's going to actually be able to pull through. Um, what may happen, investors may go to him and say, how much do you need to start a new data driven site? But Nate Silver doesn't have that gravitas of someone like Tucker Carlson and even to a substantially lesser degree, someone like me. If I were to stop doing all of this, sell it all and make a new show called TimNews.cast or something like that, it would work. I'd make money. People would want to watch. If you if you ran TimCast IRL without me, it would probably it would probably do OK because the time slot and the format are strong, but I'd probably just end up taking it over. I'd, I'd take over the time slot if I just pursued it, much like Tucker Carlson will for his own audience. That is to say, these corporate outlets, they can't do anything anymore. The reason why I'm telling you all this, there's no reason for me to sell out to a company, mostly because it's, it's mostly me. And I'm not, I'm not saying the staff doesn't count. I'm saying like, if I do a show, the show succeeds. So why would I bother doing a deal with any one of these companies? It makes no sense. Now, I suppose there are personalities that can't do it on their own and they need a machine. They need someone behind the administrative side building things for them. I'm not so sure that Nate Silver and those at ABC News are going to be able to pull off an institutional victory after being ousted by their corporate overlords. They started something. It got a little popular. They sell it. Now what? 538 is 538. And that's the risk for a lot of these people when they sell it to the corporate press. You will be consumed. Now, for these corporations, I'll tell you a secret. The reason why Fox may have gotten rid of Tucker Carlson, he's too big for his britches. The reason why ABC wants to get rid of Nate Silver, they don't want personality driven brands. They want brand driven brands. Tucker Carlson was too big. Rupert Murdoch was probably mostly concerned with the fact that, I mean, look where they are right now. Tucker Carlson leaving and everyone saying rip Fox News. That's the last thing he wants. He's Fox News. He doesn't want Tucker Carlson to take his brand down when they get rid of him. If they waited too long and Tucker Carlson became the brand, then they'd never be able to get rid of him. He'd basically inherit the company. So they need to get rid of him ASAP. And the same is true for Nate Silver. They want 538 to be a prominent brand moving into this one of the most consequential elections of our lives and of this country's history. And do they want this guy to be the face of that brand? Of course not. Of course not. Although funny story, I think I just I think Nate Silver actually was playing on the uh, uh, the Lodge poker live stream. I saw that and I was like, is Nate Silver playing poker? That's so weird. Fun game. You guys know I play. But I think Disney is looking at this like we don't want these personalities. We just want the brand so we can interchange it and lower our overhead. Getting rid of someone like Nate Silver. I wonder how much they're paying this guy. Now, here's where I'm really excited. With the news of Nate Silver being out, with Don Lemon being out, and unfortunately, to a certain degree, Tucker Carlson, it looks like cable TV news, corporate press, and all of this stuff is imploding. It's great. It's great. You guys having a good day? I'm having a good day. I don't, I don't have the same level, uh, uh, amount of disdain for Nate Silver as I do for, say, like Don Lemon or Jim Acosta, but he's not, he's not the greatest guy. He's not the guy, but he's okay. He's okay. So, you know, good luck to him in the future. I'm just excited to see that the mechanisms by which they seek to control the narrative and lie to the people are falling apart. And this gives me great hope, a great white pill moment. And so I will say this. I don't think very many people care about Nate Silver at all. And I was getting ready to do this segment. I'm like, I bet people are going to be like, I don't know what this is and I don't care, but I have to do it. I have to talk about it because, because this just shows we are winning. The path forward is paved with gold, ladies and gentlemen. And Tim Cast is growing. Dan Bongino's through the roof. 
Rumble is growing. Tucker Carlson is now untethered. Victory lies ahead, my friends. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up in a few minutes. Stick around and I'll see you all shortly.